doesn't mind getting hit in the head with a PBR bottle because it we gives did, him more energy. We did the kiss. We did kiss tour. We could tour with kiss for 30 dates and that was the worst. I mean, that was, that was like, you had no idea. You're so pumped up to play with kiss and uh, we were so stoked and so excited to do it. And Gene even came back the first night to, you know, say, Hey, and he had heard the album and that's why we went on the tour with it. He had asked if we wanted to tour with him. And so, and then we went out and we were so pumped up. And as soon as the lights went down and 20,000 people roared in anticipation of seeing a kiss because they'd waited for two months or three months or whatever. And kiss got the original members back together and the whole thing. It was a huge spectacle. And then we stepped on the stage and these little pin lights came up like little flashlights <laughs> came up and, but first the verve pipe, you know, this little squeaky voice and Ooh. just the rain of booze <laughs> and shit thrown at us and sp- Bit on my brother Brad was the bass player. I remember he wore black every night, black t shirt, black jeans, really predictable. And he'd come back at the end of the show and he'd be covered in loogies all over his <laughs> shirt, <laughs> just <laughs> just gobs of spit because he'd go right out front and he'd flip people off while he was playing. Like he didn't care. And it was disgusting, wow. but that was the worst. 30 savages. Days. Were Terrible. there like any like gains from that tour or did it just feel like no. a giant net loss? Well, I mean, a game that I would never fear another crowd again, ever. You know, that was one thing. I'd, I've had a tremendous amount of confidence on stage since then. But uh, that was the only thing gained. But there was, it was a terrible, it was a terrible idea to tour with wow. him. Wow. I mean, I, you know, I just you read. From, but you go from, you know, going from cramming five guys into a hotel room and you're in a van to touring with Kiss, you got to get a tour bus. You yep. know, so then we got a tour bus and then suddenly we were on a big time tour like within and it was like a two week thing hey kiss says yes they they really want you to come on tour and we've got worked out the schedule get in you know get let's get a bus let's get going and then you got a driver and the whole thing and it was just that was the amazing part and catering and the masseuse and all that other yeah. shit that you get that get to use of kisses you know man so I, I, actually stuff. it's funny you bring that up i just read peter chris's uh book oh he wrote a and, book and um <laughs> holy shit i mean like Can he put a sentence together no offense i mean i like peter yeah, but, you I, know I, he, he and uh, ace were a bit out of it even back then you know wow yeah he calls his penis the spoiler because apparently it's so big it just ruins uh ruins yeah, it for everybody else that's later the biography so. i want to write not read <laughs> but i want to write said, that uh, one. gene simmons would get pissed because um Gene would be like at the computer mixing a song and then Ace Freely and Peter Chris would put their wieners on each of his shoulders and then they'd tap him on the shoulder and he'd like turn into their wiener with his nose. <laughs> That's the um, kind of shit I love, man. Yeah. Pe I wish I had stories like humor. that. Hey, let's call that my story. Can you edit this? You can, you can have it. <laughs> Splice it edit up. Edit this out and we'll say that was my story. So were they was were they still like completely out of control savages when you were on tour with them because they oh, talk no, no, about no. this like exact opposite no oh, really? alcohol okay. we weren't allowed to have alcohol no drugs or alcohol backstage nothing no kidding. I'm surprised they let us smoke because jeans are notorious for the non smoking thing but no we couldn't have any alcohol we we swapped out we had to swap out a battle of Jack for like a a jug of milk for our little bowls of cereal that our, you know, keyboard player wanted. Uh, but so we, they're not boozing at all. No, we got juice boxes. Ace was a juice box drinker. Yeah. It was so funny because ah, you'd see okay. him in full costume backstage and he'd be walking up and down the halls, not really knowing where he was going, it seemed. And, and he'd have a juice box. He'd be hunched over sipping on a juice box and his, his handlers would come out and each would grab an elbow and, and say, it's this way. Ace, the stage is this way. That kind of thing. <laughs> oh, cause it, cause we, we did this, uh, little run with better than Ezra last year in and Good we guys. were in New York and the, the whole everyone in the all the staff was like oh there's Ace Freely's beer in the fridge he left his beer in there so you can have some so so uh, everyone was like wow let's drink Ace Freely's That's beer so, so he maybe he's off. back on the sauce he or be, maybe yeah, he's off the wagon I think it I think maybe he might have quit drinking when uh he was partying did, did you ever hear this story like um, Peter Chris is boozing and he's hooking up with some lady and apparently there's like a bunch of ladies and guys in the room, you know, just full debauchery, totally yeah. out of control. Yeah. And uh, he finishes his beer and he looks down and his bandmate Ace Freely is just blowing him. <laughs> Wait, wait, who was getting blown? But I thought Ace Freely was the Peter one. Chris was getting oh, blown Peter. by his own bandmate, Ace Freely. And he didn't even, I don't think either of them even realized it until they like, whoa, like came to, to you know? Okay, what, 